This is Big Baby J with another episode of Final Fantasy 12, The Zodiac Age. It's time to do some more grinding. As you see, I got Pinello and I got her assigned to the Archer job. Okay, Archer and Archer and I would say, or well, Shikari, two jobs you can actually get overpowered very early. Okay, Archer might be a little bit more complicated than the Sh Shikari job, but no big deal. Okay, let's go ahead and get to this vendor. We're in Nalbana now. And why, reason why I'm here is for this sole purpose right here. I can actually purchase Phoenix Downs from this area. Okay? So, let's go to the bazaar first and buy those. Okay? Alright, now we're going to sell those flame staff we talked about. That's 13000 And those Book of Organs. I'm going to sell those and get 51000 Now, why would I do that? It's simple. Let's go buy these Phoenix Downs now. 14000 I would say 15000 Okay? Now, I need a certain monograph at this point. And I'm going to try this one right here. War Mage's monograph. I'm going to get that one first. Okay? The reason why I'm going to get that one is because if you go to your inventory go to key items it says possession of this text enable acquisition of superior loot from animorphs and undead well guess what dustier is he's undead so I finna start uh, grinding for arcanas now I'm gonna need that for a certain item later on but we're gonna make our way back and I'm going to I'm gonna flee yeah, I'm not finna fight these battles. Because first of all, I wait a minute, hold on. I do want this uh, right here. I didn't get it. I was looking for a, a dark moat. But I didn't get it, so it's not important. But what I'm finna do now is actually make my way to Destia. But before I do, I'm going to make my way over to uh another diamond armor so I'm gonna show you how to get there from here so just follow this path I'm taking you get oh before I do I I, I I should show you this guy right here once you talk to this guy about the Sunstone you're able to purchase Phoenix Downs. So I haven't completed the uh, Sunstone yet. So we're gonna move on right along. And maybe we'll get a dark mode here. Nope, guess not. Uh, let's try a look at this uh Cronus here. Got it. Alright, let's go. Well, since I'm in the vicinity, because I'm gonna make this a short video. Um This guy right here. This guy, you want to steal from him. If you want the Turner Soul, you can start right now grinding for the Turner Soul. Snake skin, that's what you want. And I got two of them. I stole one, he dropped one. You need 12 and all. So, that's starting on the Turner Soul this early in the game. So keep that in mind. You want to do that as soon as possible. It's a, it's a weak enemy, so you can't go wrong. Now, I need to change my config for a second from battle speed fast to slow. That's what I need. Okay, now let's just run away. If these guys hit hard, I can take them out, but I'm not about to do that right now. I'm going for the diamond army. And here we go. Those die talents, you'll see in a second. Oh, I will be coming for those. Because I need to burn a bow. And I'm going to show you later on how to get to burn a bow. Yeah, those birds you see flying right there. Normally you wouldn't take the chance to take those out. But I am. Okay. So, right now I'm just going to make my way around. Hold for the diamond arm. Let's take out this wolf. I should have known it was going to come. 
You see, they do hit hard. Let's run out of here because I want that diamond armlet. And it's a 25% chance of spawning. So it may take a couple of tries. We're not going to worry about these guys. We're going to keep dodging them. Oh, I got it on the second try. Diamond armlet. So, you don't have to go to try mode to get one. You can get one right there, but I didn't want to take a chance of dying coming through here. So, a couple of hits from them guys. They'll kill you. So, let's go ahead and make our way to Dustia now. Because I'm going to show you another trick that you can learn in this grind. Then let me uh uh hold on. Let me put my Phoenix Downs on top. I need them on top. That way when I get red selected I won't have no problem. Yeah, let's just kill that wolf. Okay, now. All right. I need you to attack Vaughn for me. I'm not going to use the... Uh, perfect. I'm not going to uh, use my... Uh, my sap uh, meteorite. I'm just going to weather my HP down to where I need it to be. Okay, that should do it. That should be 10%. Yeah, perfect. Actually, 10% perfectly. Now, I'm going to run in, run back out. And we'll see if I got lucky or not. If not, I might have to tag them one more time with itself. Uh, perfect. That's it. 10% is what you need. 10% of the health. All right. Phoenix down. Dustia. Okay. Nothing dropped. Y'all know the routine. We're going to run in, run out. All I'm doing now is is making loot and gaining LP and just a few experience points because when you got both of these guys in here, your experience is cut in half. So your grind won't be as fast doing it this way. And I got a flame staff off of there. Outstanding. That's a thousand gear right there. So I showed you the diamond omelet. I showed you how to farm for the tunnel stone early. And I'm showing you how to get LP and gear at the same time as leveling. Now once I get a small chain, I'm going to show you another trick. I'm not going to completely do this right here. I'm going to do this off screen. I'm just showing you what I, I'm going to do off screen. So I'm preparing you to do this yourself. I got another flame step and I got an arcana. That's what I want. I need that for a certain a bizarre item later on. So I got two flame staffs just like that. And he ran. What you can do is run out. Come back and do it again. Got a book of Orgain that time. Outstanding. Let 
Now my license points, I gain three for every Dusty I kill. My experience, just in case you want to know, is cut in half. I was getting a thousand. Get, get out of there. Okay. Vaughn got in the way that time. I don't know if I made it or not. We'll see it in just a second. Hopefully he did make it. Hopefully I got out in time. We'll see it in just a second. Yeah, I made it just in time. Good. Because if those uh, experience points shows up, that means he won't show up again. So you have to you have to get out before those experience points shows up. Okay, so keep that in mind when you're doing this. As long as those experience points don't show up, he'll continue to spawn. As long as your HP is 10% or below. I forgot to mention it in the last grind, so I'm letting you know now. Okay, I'm getting ready to level up. Once the chain level gets up, I'm going to show you how to go back and get more Phoenix Downs without breaking your chain. That's important in this. You don't want to break your chain. And I got to level up. Alright, now, this is what we're going to do. We're going to leave the settings as the ear. We're going to hit the speed up. Let's run for it. Okay, we're going to run all the way back to Nabina. We're going to purchase a few more Phoenix Downs. And we're going to come back. Just in case you run out of Phoenix Downs, this is what I need, what you need to do. Just in case you want to know how to uh, continue your chain. Because as long as your chain is high, you get more items. The more items you get, the more gear you make. So, this is a grind that uh, is very, very beneficial early on. Cause you're getting your LP, you're building up your guild. Cause you can sell those book or games. And as you saw, I got 50,000 for having almost 99. Didn't have quite 99, but I was close. And if you're wondering, I'm gonna try to pick up a Phoenix down on the way. Just don't touch any save crystal. Do not touch any save crystal. Do not go into town. Do not kill any enemies. Because if you kill any enemy, you break your chain. You go into a town, you break your chain. You touch a save crystal, you break your chain. Those three items will break your chain. Well, there's one more, but we ain't going to talk about that. Because uh, that means you got a game over. That's another way you can lose your chain. But surely you don't get a game over at this point in the game. Now if you're doing what I'm doing. So I ran all the way back to Nalbina. Come on now, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. Back to Nalbina town. Now as long as I don't go in the town itself, over this way, we good. But as long as I get with this vendor, I can sell those book or gains, get 3,000 gil, and what my flame staff? I got two of those. Give me another two thousand. Now I can buy me some more Phoenix Downs. How about that? You can keep doing that over and over again. I'm gonna keep doing that until I get all of my uh, my grimoires. So now remember, no save crystals. Don't go in town and do not kill an enemy. So you're just going to flee the whole time. That's all you're doing is running. So we're going to run all the way back to Dusty now. Ah, he here, Vaughn. I ain't out. Uh, I didn't see that one coming. That uh, La Banger healed Vaughn for 50 HP. Or was it 40? Well, he healed him anyway. 
Now he's above 10,000. 10%, excuse me. Dark mode. That's what I was looking for earlier. Okay, come here. Tell y'all what. Y'all attack Vine. Vine, you go first. Hit him. Nah, y'all not doing a trick. Y'all taking too long. Let's go. Y'all not going to do it. He should take enough damage in the front now because they all spot him first. So he should take some damage. If I'm lucky. Here, hit me. Perfect. Let's go. That's all I needed. Not enough. I don't need no more. Don't hit me no more. I don't want Vaughn to die. Well, really, I can bring him back with a finish down, so it's not like I lose anything. Now, this last part is crucial. Okay? It's very crucial. What you want to do, you want to make sure that you don't get this wolf attention. So, we're going to slow it down. We're going to keep running. That wolf right there. You want to avoid him at all costs. So what you're going to do is you're going to run way. You're going to have his back turned to you. You're going to go around him just like so. As long as he has his back turned to you, you're good. So. Now he's going to stay over there. We over here. Let's start our chain again. And there's my boy. And my chain is at 12 now. See, my chain went right back up. Instead of going up, it never left. That's very important. Keep your chain going as long as you can. The more, ch the higher your chain, the more loot you get. See, see, I got my chain. And I got two books or game and a flame style. So when I get ready to sell that, I'll be rich. All the problem is, now I'm not using sap, I may end up getting some HP and I had to attack myself until I get my HP back down to less than 10%, which would be easier now because I got so much HP. So it won't be so difficult. I'm going to let this be my last one. Everything else I'm going to do off screen. So... You get the gist of it. You're going to keep doing this until you get all the gear you need to buy all your grimoires. So, uh, have fun doing this. Y'all take care. I can take care. And I'll see y'all in the next episode.